Hope you enjoyed those little replays we got. So, violence. They're a, a thing, apparently. So, let's go through everything kind of like hard, and I also explain some of the tech choices I did in this deck. So, we're playing Triple Violent Cube. This is our main tuna monster. As everyone knows, it searches the like worst spell when you're forcing through something of a light monster. Next, we're playing Double Violent Tetra. That's level 2, Puma. I can't cook itself and prevent destruction. And one Violent Spear, which can equip itself and patch the Eclipse Spell from the, from the grave. Nothing really important. What is important comes next. The two copies of Tuner's High. This card is important because uh, all I have to do is discard the monster. And I'm able to summon a Tuna monster that is one level higher with the same original type and attribute. Meaning that if I discard one of the Viron Tetras, I can special summon from the deck a Viron Cube, giving me additional two copies of Viron Cube, basically. Another way to just access my main Tuna monster. Next, we are going with Triple Violent segment. Triple material, double filament, and one component. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter uh, which uh, equip spells you're taking, they just have to be violent equip spells. Because a violent element exists, and when a violent equip spell that is face up on the field is destroyed, you can special summon an equal or lower number of violent tuner monsters from your deck. Those violent tuners cannot be used for a synchro summon of a, of a synchro monster that's not a violon, but that's beside that point because we are going to use them to summon a violon. Although, how are we going to destroy our violent equipment? And that is with the Rod of Silence Chaos. Rod of Silence Chaos negates any other spells that target the equipped monster. And since equipped spells mechanically target a monster, every time a card is equipped to a violent monster, it gets automatically destroyed by Rod of Silence Chaos, prompting its effect to search another violent spell and Elements effect to summon a Violent Tuna monster, basically creating somewhat of a loop. This is also known as the Violent Element loop. Look it up, it's awesome. Next we have double comp two copies of Violent Meta. And this is just a recovery spell because it shuffles two or three equipper spells into the deck, and you can either Draw a card or destroy one card the opponent controls. This effect to destroy doesn't target. So any anything that cannot be targeted can be destroyed with violent matter. So that's basically what we are playing for the violons. That's a lot. 23 cards. Next we have our non-tuners that we're gonna be using for a synchro summons. Double Chaos Valkyria, Triple Photon Thrasher, Double Ascended Sage. So, what we need are level 4 light monsters can be special summoned. Sage can be special summoned if you control no monsters, Photon Thrasher the same, and Chaos Valkyria, you just have to banish a light or a dark. So, that's basically it. We can search 5 out of 7 of them with Chaos Space. We have a lot of dark monsters, so that's no big deal. And and the soul copy of, of Roka 
can search another five of the seven, so we're basically covered when it comes to searching capabilities for this one. And for our chaos space targets, what we want to send are the dangers. We're playing a lot, a lot of dangers. Because the dangerous. Huh. Comedy. Uh, no, seriously, we're playing dangerous because they draw their own bodies on board and you can use them for either Link, Xyz or a selected number of Synchro Summons. That's basically what they're here. We're playing Double Plug to the Zombie because you can, uh, like with everything else, ditch it with Chaos Space, recycle it, do some combos. It didn't come up during testing, but it is a thing that can be done. Next we're playing a small Magician Soul package with Double Souls and Double Illusion of Chaos. So the thing is that Magician Souls can send cards, uh, spells and traps to the graveyard and draw the same amount of cards. And each violin spell card says that if this face-up card on the field is sent to the graveyard, you can add one violent spell card from your deck to the hand. So, as you probably saw in some of the replays, if I have two violent equipped spells equipped to a violent monster, they can be sent to the graveyard using the effect of Magician's Souls, drawing two cards and searching additional two, basically being a plus two in card advantage. I really like this interaction, it's basically the same as in, with the Magician's Hands engine, with Magician's Restage, but for Vylons. So, yeah, I really like this interaction. Illusion of, Magic is, Illusion of Chaos is basically here to search souls. It doesn't have any further usage. Also, it might be useful to banish for Chaos Valkyria to have our Chaos space live, but... That's a beside the point. We're also playing Triple Ash Blossom because that's the best hand trap. Don't hack me. Next for our Synchro package, we're playing one Omega, one Epsilon to fall back if Omega fails, one Michael because utility, one Zeta because utility, one Delta and one Sigma to go into Omega, one Dugares because draw, one Ridua because draw and some disruption, Double Savuja because draw and special summon, one Unicorn, one Cerberus and one Phoenix because utility, one Hulky Firebrush because another way to access Cube, and one Link Rubio because we have to do something with Souls. And that's basically it. Is this that good? Um, no, not really. It has potential, but it's basically a brick fest. There's little you can do if you brick. It's a very glassy cannon. If by any means the combo is stopped, like by an Ash Blossom or anything, you can't do shit. You have to end your turn. It's very fra It's very powerful, but it's also very fragile. So. Uh, Use it on your own discretion. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Because I am peace.